Good morning, guys. I am currently broadcasting this to you from a Super 8 Motel bathroom. Um, just got done playing a bunch of baseball games today out here in Huntington, Indiana. So, sorry I'm not able to make it to class with you guys to see everybody else's lesson plans and all their cool activities. And I can brainstorm with you guys some, some more some more ways for me to do this and actually see your guys, but I bet they're awesome and somehow I'll be able to see them one day. So um, I'm going to start my presentation with my script and um, actually the bulk of my script is in my direct instruction piece, but I, I up here at the top here have my anticipatory set, which goes over the PEMDAS with the students um, to review um, to get ready for the to go into parentheses, brackets, and braces. Um, and in, in this anticipatory set, I have my handout. I'm giving a handout that you'll see later. And um, moving down into here, I have, here's the bulk of my, my script is my direct instruction piece. And um, the main reason it's so long is that I, I have myself modeling a problem and then going over each step after I model a certain problem. So here I model the problem, um, going over the steps of solving it in here. And then I believe I do this yep, three times. And then I move on to, um, you know, students uh, work on their own a guided practice section um, in, this, in this area right here. And then I have a, a, a station uh, station setup that I'm doing in my lesson. It's, it involves four stations. Um, each station is um, not necessarily unique but different than the last station in the work that they do. They're all working with parentheses, brackets, and braces in different stations. So I have myself explaining in this area all those stations and the proper um, the proper uh, etiquette for activities so um, this to work quietly in their groups and work as a group and then to ask um, ask their group buddies um, the questions that they have before coming to me and that's explicitly stated in here so that is really the bulk of my script and I just have myself giving directions in the assessment and then closing closing the day so moving on to my station activities and my instructional material here. Um, up at the top here, I have my PEMDAS handout. I found this online. Um, I don't remember the name of the website exactly, but it, uh, if you really just look up PEMDAS, Google PEMDAS handout, this is one of the first images that pops up, and I followed the link, and it got me here. I'm going to use this. I'm going to pass this out um, in my anticipatory set and have them allow the kids to use this um, throughout the, the lesson. And um, I just thought it was a really cool handout to help kids see the parentheses, or yep, PEMDAS from a, a few different angles and a few different ways to visualize and remember it. And, um, they're going to be using this throughout this whole lesson and even into the quiz. So there's that part of the the handout, if you guys have that in front of you. The next is the Station 1 worksheet, which I th originally thought about giving as homework, and then I decided it would fit well into the lesson just, just to do something in class, and then I can use this as a, as a form of assessment um, after I can look at all of this and see, did the kids get it right away? Did it take them a little while? So this is a Station 1, and in Station 1, this is just a regular worksheet. They're just solving these equations and they get harder as they go. And there's 10 problems. Snuck down into here, the 10th problem is the hardest problem. Um, so this one is the one that's gonna take them the longest, but they get harder as you go, and the kids will work together in a group of four. And um, if they have any questions, they'll ask their partner, but um, so this is the first handout that I'm gonna give, just simple solve the equations, and that's pretty straightforward for that that station. I have to kind of mess this document up a little bit when I was saving it, but here's station two. Um, I'm doing a, a 
the kids will be doing an activity on the whiteboard. And uh, this group is just going to be doing four, four to a group, so you're going to be doing, each one's going to have one of these problems, and either one, two, three, or four. So you need a kid on one, a kid on two, a kid on three, a kid on four. And um, they're going to have solve one, kid one's going to solve problem one, kid two's going to solve problem two, kid three's going to solve problem three, kid four's going to solve problem four. And when they finish that, um, they're going to check the answers on these. And I, I uh, made this had these written down in, in advance so that when time comes if I end up doing this activity in a class I know ahead of time what problems that I want to put on the whiteboard I'm not trying to scramble to come up with with a problem in in my head and take up class time so these are the problems going to be going on the whiteboard for station 2 activity station 3 um, is a I'll just read the directions right off to you. Is determine if the equations have parentheses, brackets, and braces in the correct locations. If the equation is correct, mark a check mark with a green colored pencil next to the equation. If it's incorrect, with a red colored pencil, um, circle with a red colored pencil the part that is incorrect. <clears throat> so this one is going to progress just like um, Station 1's worksheet in, in toughness and hardness. Um, the kids are just going to look through these problems and see if they the setup this is purely set up they see if the setup's correct and if it's if it's correct they mark with green green colored pencil right next to check mark right next to it. if it's incorrect they just circle the part that's incorrect so another very simple activity um, that I have here and um, station four is a make your own problem so this is just a simple setup for it. The kids are just gonna make out their own ten of their own math equations with using parentheses, brackets, and braces. So just allow them to like formulate and and create on their own. Um, I think that'll help um, them maybe retain or at least at least maybe understand the structure of the equations better. So I really like this station. I really like this this actual setup. I wasn't really able to find any um, online that I liked too much of make your own equations. So I mean, it's pretty simple. Just write something here, write something here, write something here. As long as they have parentheses, brackets, and braces in the correct locations, they're good. Um, and then lastly, from my instructional materials, is my quiz. Um, this will be given out at the end of class, and um, this uh, is another straightforward quiz, just a small, short, three, three question quiz that's going to be handed out at the end of class so I can evaluate student learning as a, for the lesson as a whole. Um, first two problems are just simple solve the equation problems. Um, so the students are just going to go solve them, and then the last one is as place the parentheses, brackets, or braces in the correct place in the equation. So they just will look at it and place parent either parentheses, brackets, or braces, or and or a mixture of both or two or for all three of them in this equation, just to see if they they have the structure down and everything. So that's it for my um, instructional materials. They're very very basic with the. The structure that I have for the stations. Um, I uh, made sure from station one to station four, nothing really gets too hard because it's an in-class, in-class, um, in-class assignments and in-class paperwork, and they're just going to be doing a lot of problems. So it doesn't get extremely hard, but it toughens up at the end of each one to kind of challenge them, and they're able to see um, the math equations from with parentheses, brackets, and braces from a bunch of different angles. So um, I wish I was there to answer any questions, and I wish I was there to, to see your guys' um, see your guys's work and your get ideas and bounce ideas off you guys about this. Um, I can't wait to hear your guys' feedback, and I hope you guys have a great class and a great rest of the school year, and good luck on your exams. And um, Thank you so much for listening to me uh, lecture you guys from a Super 8 bathroom. Thank you, guys.